the knockout blow was not intentional. He was going for a kick. And you were breaking down for me before we started kind of the reason, the, the art of throwing a kick, I guess, because of that exact reason. You want to go back over that? Yeah, so he actually throws his kick the same way I pretty much throw my kicks. And it's, it's a style where you lead with the knee. And once you lead with the knee, you then chamber the rest of the leg. And that's going to bring that kick depending on how you want to bring it up. So you can bring it up to the head or you can bring it up to the, to the body. So it just really depends on how you want to play with the angles. So it was interesting to see somebody actually do that in the cage. I've never seen it done in terms of like any of the MMA fighters in my weight class at least. I've never seen nobody do it like that. And uh, I've actually cut a couple of teammates right around the eyes, which sucks. And we weren't even sparring. We are just playing around. But you wear shin guards and it doesn't cover the knee. They do the same exact thing. They run right into it. But good thing is slow motion because if you go in at that full speed, which I was, which was Clearly, what I was yeah. doing, and uh, I paid dearly for it. He was he was trying to fake me out by looking down and then looking up to throw the kick, and then I was looking up at him after the rest kind of the ref kind of intervened a little bit. I don't know for what reason, but he did. So there was just like a brief pause in the action, and then as I go forward, I, so I look up and I try to look down. So I almost try to give like a. A high school like head fake like I'm gonna mm -hmm. catch you just by doing one of these and then mm -hmm. look down to try to uh, just distract you a little bit so I yeah. can get in for the for the takedown because I was I felt really good really confident when I had his arm I was like man I think I can really put him away with a submission yeah. in the first round so I just got overly anxious which is unlike me um, I'm typically a lot more calculated wouldn't yeah. take more time to let the, the finish kind of come and man so I ran in with my head down, he was looking down, he looked up, I was looking up, I looked down, and face first, my hands open, I'm trying to hit a knee snag, but I was in the kickboxing range still. And I thought it was a little bit closer, but I, it turns out I wasn't. Mm. And if I was a little bit closer, I would have ran into more like the thigh, the body, but being that far out, kickboxing range, once he brings that knee up and I shoot, you commit, you're committed, and it's no okay. turning back after that. Because you're in the back room, you're warming up, and you're, seeing, you're watching all the fights, and you're like, oh man, that was a great fight or that was a really exciting fight that was a nasty knockout that was yeah. a nasty submission and then you're kind of in the back like well I'm coming up soon I gotta make sure I deliver too it's my first time on the main card mm -hmm. my ninth UFC appearance and I'm taking on another top 10 fighter in the world who everyone is considering as one of the next title challengers to right. possibly win UFC gold so it was a big opportunity big step up for me and I just felt so good and I, I, you know, I just wanted to go out there and perform I won't say that like, that's the exact reason why I got overly anxious for that but, I mean, maybe it has something to do with it, but I, I, I think it was just in the heat of the moment. I felt good. I felt confident. I just wanted to take a chance, and I, I, I took it on the chin. Uh, the yeah. Athletic Commission typically suspends any fighter that gets knocked out or a bad TKO, 30 days, no contact. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no way to really regulate that or really check to see if the fighters are really honoring that suspension. So I can literally go right back to the gym today, and I could be sparring and you know doing all kinds of crazy stuff that I shouldn't be doing. Back. I came back to the hotel. I saw him. Well, I didn't see him that night. I saw him the very next morning, and I wanted to, because our coaches are close. Yeah. Um, uh, Matt, Sarah, Ricardo, Almeida actually grew up together in the, in the jiu-jitsu world community. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of history, mm -hmm. and we were actually going to train together before. You know, I was going to go out there and go train, but then I realized, you know, there's a good chance in the future we're going to possibly have to fight sure. each other. And sure enough, that day ended up coming, and uh, I saw him that day. And I was like, hey, man, that was a great, great, great knee. I felt like, you know, we were giving the fans a good show. We started off right out, you know, right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you, you did a good job. You caught me well. And I just like, hopefully we Classy. can do it again. And yeah, I was like, hopefully well, we can do so it again in the future. About it too. I told him, I was like, hopefully, you know, I can win a couple and we could do it again. Because I felt like we, we could have possibly had fighting tonight. I, yeah. I thought it was shaping up it to be a, a really good battle. Yeah. You know, the, uh, his striking versus my, my grappling. Well, for one, I know my girlfriend went to her brother's house, and he's married now, and they invited pretty much all their friends and uh, family members from, like, church and everything. So they said when that happened, it was just kind of like the room just went mm. pin drop silent, yeah. and all eyes kind of just turned to her. And it was like, I guess everyone was kind of just wanting to know what her reactions were. I know my brother was freaking out, I was told. And uh, everyone you, else back home was pretty scared. You know, I got 19 siblings, you know, so. Would you rather lose like that or, like, just get, like, your ass kicked the whole fight? You know what I mean? Like, like you don't get knocked down, they'll, you know, and it's like just, but you just lose. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is worse for you mentally? Mentally? Well, for me, mentally, I'm going to say knowing that I just got caught based on something I did and it wasn't really a skill set thing, and, you know, in terms of him just being that much more skilled and talented. It was just more so of the, the luck of the timing. Yeah. I'm going to say that gives that makes me 
don't that that doesn't beat me down mentally as much as being getting, outclassed, being yeah. outclassed and just sure. being piss pounded from pillar to pillar. You know, it's yeah. just like. Dude, like, what do you do? You go back and you're like, well, I need to fix this, 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 and this. Like, I suck. I need a lot of work. Like, that that can beat you up. This and was sometimes just one you can of those things. Like yeah, it's just, this, this, there's been so many fights like that where guys just get caught. It's just one of those things. It's like playing checkers or, not checkers, like chess, and you get checkmated because you saw the finish right before you, you actually built it up to that point. Yeah. And you skipped a step and then you got caught. Yeah. Based on your your right. somewhat of your mistake. I mean, he threw the kick, but it was based off some of a little bit of my miscalculation and getting a little. Over.